Please read the description on YouTube for more information that I won't spend video time reciting. We removed the end couch and replaced it with four heavy-duty crates. When we're towing the unit, these become padded storage units for things we pull out upon arrival. The one quarter inch walled crates are bolted to the floor and bolted to a plywood tabletop. We added an LED light strip running through holes at the top of the crates in both the back and front to provide lighting inside the crates and added a carpet runner in front of the crates to catch the occasional spills. The crate sizes left a little room on one side where we store a Swiffer, broom, and stepladder for easy access. The Swiffer is mounted on the wall with command grippers and stays there during travel. A retractable clothesline can be pulled across the space when needed. Support lines from the ceiling keep it from sagging when there is a lot of weight. A waggle monitors the temperature and sends us phone text messages when it becomes too hot or too cold in the unit. The stock speaker system was lower quality than we wanted, so we installed better speakers with a subwoofer on the crate table and speakers above the TV, and we use an MP3 player to provide background music almost all day. We upgraded the theater recliners to a model that has more control over lumbar and head support and has seat warmers in it. The theater lounge chair cup holders were too small for larger drinks and mugs, so inserts were added to hold larger glasses. And we keep washable throws on the seats to help keep them clean. We expand our tablet with a monitor, keyboard, mouse, etc. to make the dining table a desk for most of the day, and added a regular desk chair with a pool noodle bumper to make it more comfortable than the stock dining chairs. This is one of the items we really like, a removable screen door for the main entrance. It is held together in the middle by magnets that make it close behind you, and the dogs love to be able to go in and out when allowed. On one side of the door are more hooks for keys and flashlights used for walking the dogs at night, and on the other side of the door is a leash rack and poop bags. Then when you return from a walk, there are dog treats on the counter to help with kenneling so that you can walk the next set of dogs. We have external cameras on the unit. The rear one is essential for driving so that you can see traffic behind you. Then the monitor moves from the truck to this counter and we switch to the door camera while occupying the unit. When it's actively raining and everyone is wet, this area becomes a drying area immediately upon re-entry. This folding drying rack, plus a few towels on the floor, is perfect for containing the mess. We added both Wi-Fi and cell extenders. I can provide more thoughts on these, but my summary is that unless you're really going off the grid, they probably aren't needed. We discovered that a three-gallon water jug fits well in this space under the sink counter. On trips, we only used the park water for showers, washing dishes, clothes, etc. But anything that we or the dogs actually consume will be bottled. The dispenser for the water jug sits on top and is rechargeable. We keep a water purifier and dispenser in the fridge for cold water, and it also has a faster flow rate than the one under the sink sitting on the three gallon jug. Hand soap dispenser for the kitchen sink. Counter space is at a premium, but we keep the hand soap and dish soap on the edge of the sink for easy access. A good way to clear up counter space is to use the front of the refrigerator. We have a whiteboard, pen holders, notepad, eyeglasses, etc. hanging there. Rods to keep things from falling out of the refrigerator during travel are helpful. A vertical spoon rest next to the stove also preserves counter space. If you haven't discovered these yet, I recommend of gloves for handling hot things both in the RV and your home kitchen. Dishware travels in padded containers during the trip, then moves to the cabinet upon arrival. Racks to stack your dishware help maximize that space and make things more accessible. We put as many things on walls as possible to help preserve counter space. 
The dish rack travels in one of the sinks and is placed near one edge of the counter in order to free up a larger prep area on one side of the counter. And the final item in the kitchen living area is Scentsy, which is appreciated sometimes more than others. Dispensers for shower soap, facial cleanser, shampoo and conditioner on the wall, along with the glass scraper for use after showering. The stock skylight lets in more light than we liked, so you can get a custom sized shade to go under it. The metal door handles on the cabinets would hit the shower glass too hard, so we replaced them with some rubber doggy footprints, and you need a doggy bath mat set as well. We encased all the floor vents in pantyhose to keep dog hair and other debris out of the ductwork. We added a towel rack to the back of the door. Added a soap dispenser over the sink and a Kleenex holder on the wall to help conserve counter space. A Velcro strap to keep the toilet paper from unraveling during travel. Our short dogs are welcome on the bed when allowed, but are too short to be jumping on and off it so we have a ramp at the end of the bed. We have a large display clock, which also projects onto the ceiling over the bed so that it is easily visible at night. And this sits by the weather radio on the dresser. These vertical fans don't take up much floor space. Since we can't have a ceiling fan over the bed, this one sits on the bench in the corner to move some air during the night. And another wall holder this time for dryer sheets instead of facial tissue, and a folding clothes rod that is handy for hanging clothes coming out of the dryer. We found these hanging shelves and shoe holders to be a good use of space in the closet. In case you don't know, Sleep Number makes an RV sized mattress, which we enjoy since we like different levels of firmness. The extra three gallon water jugs are braced against the forward wall and secured by a long bungee cord to keep them and the padded wine carrier from shifting during travel. Some of our short dogs cannot navigate the stairs safely, so we added a removable 10-foot ramp with sides as an entryway. It takes about 15 minutes to set up or take down, but is well worth it for our situation. The orange-topped bin travels in the main storage compartment and holds lots of miscellaneous just-in-case items. Once the ramp is set up, it becomes a mid-ramp support, which makes the long ramp much more stable. A small foot-activated trash can for dog poop bags after walks. We take quite a few exercise pins to use as a gate and turnout area at the bottom of the ramp. The dogs really like it when the screen door, ramp, and turnout area are available for them to come and go. And here's where the X-Pins travel, a carrier that attaches to the rear hitch. This is a portable fold-up dog bath that we carry with us. If we plan on bathing dogs, then we also carry a grooming table and dog dryer, but it's always nice to have something available for those unexpected baths. These large flex ties are wonderful for things like keeping the water hose coiled. Having split my scalp once, ducking under the slide out in the rain, I make sure to install pool noodles on the underside edge now. We store work gloves on a hook inside the cargo door, and we also have a magnetic light strip on one of the cargo hold beams to provide light at night. That's it. If you have any questions or comments, just ask. We'd love to find ideas for other things we haven't thought of yet.